Hi everyone. Okay, let's solve this problem right away. We have x times x times x minus x times x equals 18. Okay, x times x times x. This will give us some um, x to the power of 3. Then minus x times x is x squared. And this is equal to 18. Now, here is what I want to do. Let us express what we have on the left hand side. You know, um, let's express 18 to be in this form. Right? Looking at this, x to the power of 3. I want to work with 27. Right, because 27 minus this 18 will give 9. So I need 9 and 27 in these two places. So that means I can write x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 on the left. Right. And on the left hand side, we have 27 plus, okay, it's going to be minus, right? 27 minus 9. You know, that's what will give us um, 18 here. Now, to go ahead, we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2 equals 27 is 3 to the power of 3. And that's what I needed. Then, minus 9 is 3 squared. Now, you can compare the left-hand side and the right-hand side. If not for the fact that we are looking for the complete solution, we would have concluded that x is equal to 3, right? But let's continue as we bring this, all of this to the left. Okay, so we have x, um, we have x to the power of 3. The, <clears throat> this is coming to meet with this, so we have minus 3 to the power of 3. Then I, I will have this minus x squared. Then this is coming to become plus 3 to the power of 2. Now all of this is equal to 0. Right? Okay, so to continue, I want to group this and factorize it. But I cannot just group this because of this negative. So for me to group this, I'll have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 then minus open bracket I have x squared then negative multiplied by positive is negative now we have 3 squared everything is 0 so we can now express this and then work with this using um, the identity the identity difference of uh, 2 cubes imagine you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is difference of two cubes and this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared right this is for the difference of two cubes now, for the difference of two squares, I believe everybody knows that a squared minus b squared, this will be a minus b into a plus b, right? Everybody knows this. Now, our a minus b becomes x minus 3. So, I'll write x minus 3 here. Then, a squared that will now be x squared plus a b a b is going to be x times 3 and it's 3x plus b squared that will be 3 squared and it's giving us 9 then we close that this is subtraction minus we'll open the bracket and express this in difference of two squares that will give x minus 3 into x plus 3 now everything is equal to 0 now if you look at this this and this they are the same thing 
So x minus 3 can come out as a common factor. And that way we have x squared plus 3x plus 9. We have that here. Right? Then minus here we have the positive x plus 3. So we close this and equate to 0. Now let's open this bracket. So we have x minus 3 here. Then here we're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 9. To open this bracket, we have minus x minus 3. And we equate to 0. Okay, x minus 3 into, we have x squared. 3x minus x, that will be minus, okay, it's going to be plus 2x. Then we have um, 9 minus 3, that will give us plus 6. Then we equate to 0. Now, we are multiplying these two to get 0. So, we'll say x minus 3 is 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, from this side, we can have x to be equal to 0 plus 3. That will give 3. So, this is one of the solutions. Now, let's go straight to this um, quadratic equation and we shall solve it immediately. Okay, so this is the quadratic equation and we are going to use this formula. We have, um, okay, by the way, let me start from here. We have x equals um, minus b plus or minus, right? Then we have square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is all over 2 times a. This is the formula that we're going to use. Sorry, I did not write, write on that dish. Okay, so what is our a, b, c? Our a is 1. That is the coefficient of x squared. Our b is 2. And our C is 6. Now let's put this into the formula. So X will now be minus. In place of B now, I'll write 2. Plus or minus. Then square root of B squared. That'll be 2 squared. Minus 4 times 1 times 6. A is 1 and C is 6. Now this is divided by 2 times 1. Now our x is minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared. I mean 2 squared that will be 4 minus 4 times 1 times um, times 6 that will be 24. Then we divide this by 2. Now, our x is minus 2 plus or minus, we have minus 20. 4 minus 24 is minus 20, then we divide by 2. Now, our x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 20 times square root of negative 1. What I have done is to pick out the negative from the root. So we now have this over 2. Okay, so our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 20 is 4 times 5. Multiply by square root of negative 1 is i. So we will now divide this, the whole of this, by 2. Now, here is what I want to do. X will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. 2 times i, that will be 2i. Then I have root 5 over there. So the whole of this will be divided by 2. So that our x will now be 2 into this will give minus 1 plus or minus 2 into that will just leave i over there. 
then we have root 5. So this is 2 in 1, right? So let's bring the three solutions together. We have the um, x, 1 to be equal to 3. And then we have x2 from here. And that will be minus 1 plus i root 5. Then we have x3, which will be minus 1 minus i root 5. Thank you for, for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more videos like this.